The profound practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the sacred title of the Lotus Sutra, is a revered tradition in Nichiren Buddhism. This profound act of faith is not merely a recitation of words, it is a transformative journey that harmonizes the body, mind, and spirit. To fully immerse oneself in the profound depths of this practice, one must cultivate an unwavering state of concentration, shutting out the myriad distractions that threaten to fragment the mind's unity. In his insightful treatise, On Perseverance, Nichiren Daishonin, the esteemed founder of this Buddhist tradition, illuminates the essence of resolute practice, persevere in the Buddha's teachings with the same intensity as a wick burns, undeterred by the winds that assail it from every quarter. Just as a steadfast flame defies the gusts that seek to extinguish it, the practitioner of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo must remain unwavering in the face of life's incessant distractions, allowing nothing to disrupt the sacred rhythm of their chanting. The revered scholar Nichiko Shonen, in his seminal work, The Heart of the Lotus Sutra, underscores the paramount importance of concentration during this practice. The mind is a precious vessel, capable of containing the boundless wisdom of the mystic law. Yet, if it is shattered by the intrusion of idle thoughts and worldly distractions, its contents are inevitably squandered. These profound words remind us that the mind, when focused and undivided, can tap into the infinite wellspring of enlightenment enshrined within the Lotus Sutra's teachings. However, if our concentration is compromised, the transformative power of this practice is diminished. To safeguard the integrity of our chanting practice, we must vigilantly guard against the insidious encroachment of distractions, which can manifest in myriad forms. One of the most pervasive threats in our modern age is the ubiquitous presence of electronic devices, smartphones, tablets, and computers, which constantly vie for our attention, bombarding us with a deluge of information and stimuli. During the sacred hours dedicated to chanting, it is imperative that we keep these devices at bay, lest their siren songs lure us away from the present moment and the resonant vibrations of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Physical activities, too, must be eschewed during the chanting practice, for they can disrupt the stillness and focused awareness required. Nichiren Daishonin himself emphasized the importance of maintaining a stationary posture, declaring, just as a mirror's brilliant surface is clouded by dust, so too is the mind obscured by the constant motion of the body. Only in the stillness of a motionless form can the mirror of our mind reflect the profound truths encoded within the Lotus Sutra's teachings. Furthermore, we must be cautious of engaging in idle conversations or social interactions during our chanting practice, for these can fracture our concentration and diffuse the intensity of our focus. As the esteemed scholar Nitatsu Shonen eloquently stated, the voice of the mystic law must resound unimpeded, like a solitary bell echoing through a silent valley. Any extraneous chatter or discourse can disrupt the harmony of this sacred resonance, diminishing the transformative power of our practice. The consumption of food or beverages during chanting should also be avoided, as these activities can distract the mind and disrupt the rhythmic cadence of our recitations. The renowned teacher Nikko Shonen aptly observed, just as a musical instrument must be free of obstructions to produce a pure tone, so too must our mouths be unencumbered during the act of chanting, lest the vibrations of the mystic law be muffled or distorted. External noises and distractions, while perhaps unavoidable in certain circumstances, should be minimized as much as possible. The wise words of Nichiren Daishonin remind us, just as a skilled archer must steady their aim amidst the clamor of battle, so too must the practitioner of the Lotus Sutra maintain their focus, undeterred by the tumult of the world around them. By creating a tranquil and serene environment, we can fully immerse ourselves in the profundity of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, undisturbed by the cacophony of external stimuli. Perhaps the most insidious distraction of all, however, is the wandering of our own thoughts. The human mind is a restless entity, constantly darting from one idea to the next, like a butterfly flitting from blossom to blossom. As Nichiren Daishonin admonished, the mind is a drifting cloud, ever shifting and changing its shape. It is only through the anchor of faith that we can tether it to the teachings of the Lotus Sutra. During our chanting practice, we must vigilantly rein in our errant thoughts, 
anchoring our awareness firmly in the present moment and the resonant vibrations of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. By diligently adhering to these guidelines and safeguarding our practice from the encroachment of distractions, we can fully immerse ourselves in the profound depths of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Like a skilled archer, we must steady our aim, focusing our entire being on the target of enlightenment. Like a steadfast flame, we must burn with unwavering intensity, defying the gusts of distraction that seek to extinguish our fervor. In the words of Nichiren Daishonin, the winds of birth and death, the tempests of delusion, may howl around us, but our faith in the Lotus Sutra shall remain unshaken, like an immovable rock amidst the raging currents. By cultivating this unwavering resolve and maintaining an uncompromising state of focus, we can unlock the boundless wisdom and compassion enshrined within the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, transforming our lives and illuminating the path to enlightenment for ourselves and others. The profound practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is not merely a recitation of sacred words, it is a transformative journey that harmonizes the body, mind, and spirit with the infinite wisdom and compassion of the mystic law. To fully embark on this transformative path, one must cultivate an unwavering state of concentration, shutting out the myriad distractions that threaten to fragment the mind's unity. As we progress along this journey of faith, we must remain vigilant against the constant allure of distractions, which can manifest in countless forms, both external and internal. The world around us is a cacophony of stimuli, sights, sounds, and sensations, that constantly vie for our attention, seeking to divert our focus from the sacred resonance of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It is imperative that we create a sanctuary of tranquility, a haven where the clamor of the outside world is held at bay, allowing us to fully immerse ourselves in the profound depths of our practice. Yet, even in the stillness of our chosen environment, we must remain ever watchful for the insidious distractions that arise from within our own minds. The human psyche is a restless entity, prone to wandering and distraction, like a butterfly flitting from one fleeting thought to the next. During our chanting practice, we must steadfastly reign in these errant musings, anchoring our awareness firmly in the present moment and the resonant vibrations that reverberate through our beings. In his profound wisdom, Nichiren Daishonin offered sage counsel on this matter. The mind is a drifting cloud, ever shifting and changing its shape. It is only through the anchor of faith that we can tether it to the teachings of the Lotus Sutra. These words remind us that our faith, our unwavering belief in the transformative power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is the steadfast mooring that prevents our minds from drifting aimlessly into the realm of distraction. As we navigate the currents of our own thoughts and emotions, we must remain ever vigilant, constantly steering our awareness back to the present moment and the sacred vibrations that resonate through our beings. Like a skilled archer, we must steady our aim, focusing our entire being on the target of enlightenment, undeterred by the tumult of internal and external stimuli that seek to disrupt our concentration. In this endeavor, the wisdom of the great Nichiren Buddhist scholars serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards a state of unwavering focus. The esteemed Nikko Shonen, in his seminal work, The Unwavering Mind, offers profound insights. Just as a mirror's brilliant surface is clouded by dust, so too is the mind obscured by the constant motion of idle thoughts. Only in the stillness of a motionless form can the mirror of our mind reflect the profound truths encoded within the Lotus Sutra's teachings. These words remind us that the state of profound concentration we seek is akin to a mirror's unblemished surface, capable of reflecting the infinite wisdom of the mystic law with perfect clarity. However, if our minds are clouded by the dust of distractions and wandering thoughts, the profundity of these teachings is obscured, and our practice is diminished. To cultivate this state of unwavering focus, we must emulate the steadfast flame that defies the gusts that seek to extinguish it. As Nichiren Daishonin states, persevere in the Buddha's teachings with the same intensity as a wick burns, undeterred by the winds that assail it from every quarter. Just as a flame burns with unwavering intensity, so too must our practice of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo remain resolute defying the tempests of distraction that seek to divert our attention from the sacred path. 
In this endeavor, we can draw inspiration from the revered Nichiko Shonen, whose words resonate like a clarion call. The voice of the mystic law must resound unimpeded, like a solitary bell echoing through a silent valley. By quieting the external and internal clamor that threatens to drown out the sacred resonance of our chanting, we can allow the profound vibrations of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to reverberate through our beings, unimpeded and undiluted.